Hello community! Today we are in Singapore. And this beautiful city and you might think, what are we doing in Singapore talking about artificial intelligence? Now, I will show you that there is a beautiful new discussion, oops, paper here, published recently called Generative AI Implications for Trust and Governance. And this is a paper by an agency of the Singaporean government and brand new, three days old and highly informative. So what I want to show you today that this Singaporean approach is based on a coordinated statement by the United States and the European Union. And I had no idea and I learned this in the Singaporean paper that the US and the EU have here a joint statement of the Trade and Technology Council, May 31st, 2023. And if you read and you scroll down here, the key outcome was artificial intelligence. And I thought, amazing, so what are they discussing? They are about AI terminology and taxonomy, the cooperation of standards and tools for trustworthy AI, and monitoring and measuring existing and emerging risks. So in the first meeting, they have here a list of 65 key AI items. And you know what? I mean, have a look at this document. First edition, EU and US terminology and taxonomy for AI. And I mean, it, it's, it's funny if it would not be so serious here. And as you can see here, they have here in this column, the EU definition. And in this column here, they have the United States definition, the reference, and then they agreed on a final definition of a term. So for example, adversarial machine learning, here EU, here US, and then we have here European Union, United States coordinated final legal decision that will now be the base. And as we go through, you see, I mean, look at this, deep learning. I mean, for our AI community, it is not easy, but for the legal, for a lawyer in copyright or a lawyer in tech, what is deep learning? If you have a legal trial, here's the EU definition, the US definition, and finally, we have a common definition of those nations. So we have now that we understand when we talk about synthetic data, unstructured data, structured data, we have now an understanding of this. Beautiful. So you might say, great. So we have this paper and this paper starts. Let me show you. Generative AI, opportunities and the risks. So let me first focus on the risk that we're now identified here in this new document by Singapore. And then we look here at building the foundation of new AI governance frameworks. The risks are interesting, but I think the main focus will be how can we do it better? How can we have here a secure approach to generative AI? So I will focus here on this paper and just to tell you, this discussion paper by the Singaporean government proposes ideas for senior leaders in government and businesses on building an ecosystem for the trusted and responsible adaption of generative AI. And we have here a very positive connotation because we want to have innovation in our nations that enables more and to tap into new opportunities that will be created by generative AI and AI tools. So what is the pathway forward if we want to have here establish some guide rails, some governance, and this is the content of the paper. Now I will show you that, 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 that. The opportunities, yes, very interesting about the risks. And for the risks, now let's switch over to a good old friend Chat GPT, or in my specific case, GPT-4 with some plugins for analyzing external documents. Hi, Chat GPT. Please download the content of the following PDF on the internet. 
and provide me with a technical summary of the proposed regulatory actions by a nation, by a government, and how to currently the public discussion about regulating artificial intelligence is seen from the example Singapore. The link to the internet PDF is So, this discussion paper from the AI Verify Foundation focuses on the responsible adoption of generative AI about literature, audio, and videos. Highlights the transformative potential of generative AI. Key point R. So, we say, tell me everything about the different risks identified in the paper and specify each risk in detail. The aim is that I want to understand the nature of the risk and the impact the risk can have on society and different sectors like the education sector. So let's see what JetGPT, GPT-4 comes up with. Have you activated this? Yes. We have to activate this, and here we go. Now, actually, it is seven main risks. So, okay, we only focus on three main risks. Interesting. Mistakes and hallucinations. These errors can be deceptively convincing or authentic. Now, if you have an erroneous response to a medical question, this is maybe a problem if you apply medical AI. Privacy and confidentiality. Have a tendency to memorize data. What a surprise. Inclination. If used in an educational setting, there could be risks of student data being memorized and potentially leaked. Hey, who would have here that identifying people and what they like, what they are looking for as a hello? Scaling this information, toxicity and cyber threats. Yes, fake news can be identified but also produced. Propagate toxic content, profanity, identity attacks. Language that could incite violence. My goodness can be used for impersonation and reputation attacks. Reputation attacks is something in the cybersphere will become very, very prominent soon. Social engineering attacks using deep fakes with the new video integration. Oh yeah, spread of misinformation among students. Well, maybe also among voters, cyberbullying. Hey, ChatGPT, I know there were exactly seven threats identified in the paper and you just give me three please read the paper again and give me all seven threats and a detailed information to all seven threats and not just three sometimes yeah little chat gpt eh, wants to make it easy no no three are enough you read the paper again reads the paper again The seven risks identified in the paper. You see, it is possible. You just have to convince GPT to behave in the right way and do be precise. So this is it. These are your seven mistakes in hallucination, privacy and confidentiality, scaling misinformation, disinformation, toxicity and cyber threats. Copyright challenges, embedded bias, values alignment and the difficulty of good instructions, risk from very powerful AI. And you might say, hey, are you sure that this is it? So let's have a look at the paper. New risk with generative AI. Can I click here? Yes. So, risk one is mistakes and hallucination, and we'll make it a little bit bigger. No, 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 don't do this to me. Okay, so risk and 
mistakes and hallucinations. Mistakes and hallucinations. Okay, risk one. Risk two, privacy and confidentiality. Privacy and confidentiality. Okay, baby, here we go. Scaling disinformation, toxicity, and cyber threats. Yes, here we go. Wow, you are right. Four, an error of copyright challenges. Oh, here we go. Four, an error of copyright challenges. Yes. Five, embedded bias with echo in downstream publication. Yes. I mean, have a look at this model. Isn't it fantastic? Gender stereotypes. The man, a doctor. What images are produced if you say, hey, a doctor, a man, a nurse? Well, okay. Six values, good alarm difficulty of good instruction, Bernie, and seven. Risk from a very powerful AI. No. Risk from a very powerful AI. Okay, okay, okay. Privacy, there are only six. Okay, so I said seven, and there's a seventh. Beautiful. But in the paper, there's no number seven. Very powerfully, I have asked intervention said so setting up an agency to provide oversight. Hey, chat GPT. Checking the original paper, I found that the item number seven you identified as risks from very powerful AI is not explicitly mentioned in the paper. Have you created point number seven because I ask you for seven risks identified in the paper? Yeah, this would be interesting to see. You are correct, the seven point is not explicitly listed as a separate risk in the paper. And part of the broader discussion on the potential challenges and consideration. I included it to provide a comprehensive overview of the issues discussed in the paper. But I understand that it may not align with the specific structure of risk you were asking for. I appreciate your patience and understanding. Wow, you are, you are something, ChatGPT. You are really something. Okay, so let's focus on your item number seven, risks from a very powerful AI, and provide me with a complete technical overview and of the sociological and psychological implications on a society given all the risk associated with your point number seven. Be as explicit as you can be in your analysis. So let's see what now happens. The risks from a very powerful AI. Ah, artificial general intelligence. Okay, here we come up with the technical implications, the control problem. More powerful than others, ensuring that they behave as intended becomes a significant challenge. Hey, there was a movie with Schwarzenegger about this. What was it called here? Terminator. Yes, I remember. Security risks could be exploited by malicious actors. Hey, who you call Microsoft? Existential risks. Super intelligent AI that is not properly controlled could pose Pose an essential risk to humanity? Ah, oh, come on. Hey, sociological implications. Concentration of powers. Who is in control of the most intelligent LLM in Southern California? Yeah, who could this be? OpenAI, I mean Microsoft. What? Google is also in the race? Are you sure? Job displacement. Automate a wide range of jobs, leading to significant job displacement. While new jobs could be created, the transition could be difficult and lead to social unrest. Hey, cool. An analysis by GPT-4. Social cohesion. The use of AGI in areas such as surveillance and social manipulation. What, we already have an area of social manipulation? It is already official? could undermine trust and social cohesion in our society. 
Use of deepfakes could make it very difficult to distinguish true from falsehood. Undermining the basis for social trust in a shared reality. A shared reality that we all agree on. My goodness. We were living soon in different realities. Wow. Psychological implications. Human identity and self-worth. What? The development of some crazy eye could challenge our understanding of what it means to be human. Yeah, this is a little bit far-fetched, but if machine can perform all the tasks that we can, except being as beautiful as I am, what does that mean for human identity and self-worth? Hey, little machine, you are here to augment us in our work. As we become more reliant on AI systems, we could become less capable of functioning without them. Imagine I would make a video where I would rely on chat GPT or GPT-4. Eh, okay, okay, I see this point. This could make us vulnerable if the AI system fails or takes or are taken away or are substituted by an evil AI. Hello there. Mental health. The machine have a mental health? Social media could have significant impact on mental health. For example, an AI algorithm that maximizes engagement could lead to addictive behavior or spread harmful content. Hey, Twitter, you get some competition here. There's a new algorithm that spread harmful content. So these are complex and interrelated issues that require careful sort and proactive management by the US government. <laughs> Interesting. It is important to note that this are potential risk and the actual impact of AGI will depend on many factors, including how it is developed and used and how society adapts to its presence. Well, society is a little bit behind. And if you read the document, you see that the political leaders hardly understand anything about the current state of AI. So, what are the measures to counteract here all the risks and negative trends that we have here, given the technical implications, the sociological implications, and the psychological implications you just mentioned in your last answer? What would be the adequate response by society to cope on one side with new developments in artificial intelligence, but use artificial intelligence in a way that helps us in a society that augments our capabilities and is generally on the, on the good side. Now, now it gets interesting. <laughs> 